Hello and welcome to St. Jude's Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today is August 9th, the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Now let's stand up while we sing our opening song. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went into a cave and spent the night. The Lord said, Elijah, go out and stand on the mountain. I am going to pass that way. At once, a strong and mighty wind shook the mountain and shattered the rocks. But the Lord was not in the wind. An earthquake shook the ground but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, hardly a sound was heard. Elijah covered his face with his robe and went out and stood at the entrance to the cave. The word of the Lord. Now we all say, thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, Lord, show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation. Now everyone, Lord, show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation. I will listen to you, Lord God, because you promise peace to those who are faithful. You are ready to rescue everyone who worships you so that you will live with us in all of your glory. Everyone, Lord, show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation. Love and loyalty will come together. 
goodness and peace will unite. Loyalty will sprout from the ground. Justice will look down from the sky above. Everyone, Lord, show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation. Our Lord, you will bless us. Our land will produce wonderful crops. Justice will march in front, making a path for you to follow. Everyone, Lord, show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. May the word of God remain on our minds, on our lips, and in our hearts. And we all say, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus made his disciples get into a boat and start back across the lake, but he stayed until he had sent the crowds away. Then he went up on a mountain where he could be alone and pray. Later that evening, he was still there. By this time, the boat was long way from shore. It was going against the wind and was being tossed around by the waves. A little while before morning, Jesus came walking on the water toward his disciples. When they saw him, they thought he was a ghost. They were terrified and started screaming. At once, Jesus said to them, Don't worry. I am Jesus. Don't be afraid. Peter replied, Lord, if it is really you, tell me to come to you on the water. Come on, Jesus said. Peter then got out of the boat and started walking on the water toward him. But when Peter saw how strong the wind was, he was afraid and started sinking. Lord, save me, he shouted. Right away, Jesus reached out his hand. He helped Peter up and said, You surely don't have much faith. Why do you doubt? When Jesus and Peter got into the boat, the wind died down. The men in the boat worshipped Jesus and said, You really are the Son of God, the Gospel of the Lord. Then we all say, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us today for our Children's Liturgy of the Word. I have one of these plastic eggs. It's one of those Easter eggs that I got in my Easter basket this year. You can see that my egg's plastic and it's it's empty. There's nothing in it. I also have this bowl of water. I was wondering, what do you think would happen if I put my egg into the bowl of water? Would it sink or would it float? Let's find out. Well, you can kind of see in the camera that my egg has floated. And um, our gospel story today was about two people that also stayed above the water. It was Jesus and Peter. If you remember in the story, Jesus, Jesus had gone alone to pray and he prayed even while his friends went onto the boat and was already crossing um, the body of water. And Jesus walked upon the water to get to the boat. Well, when Peter and the other disciples saw him, Peter was so excited and he said, Lord, I wanna walk on the water too. I want to be like you. And Jesus said, come. And so 
Peter stepped outside of the boat and he walked on the water and he was amazed. Can you imagine what that would feel like, being able to walk on water? Well, Peter looked around and he saw that the wind hadn't stopped and he saw that the winds were kind of moving around and he got frightened, he was afraid. And at that moment that he became afraid, he began to sink into the water. He opened himself up to that fear and the water kind of rushed in inside of his heart and inside of his mind. Well, if we pretend that this egg is like Peter, we can see what will happen if we let water inside. Even with a little bit of water, my egg begins to float. And if it was completely filled up, my egg would sink. That's what happens when the water gets inside of it. Just like Peter, when all that fear and doubt came inside of Peter, that's when he sank. But why didn't Jesus sink too? Well, I think it's because he had spent all that time in prayer. He had spent all that time praying and rebuilding his faith. And that's something that we need to do all the time. Because when we pray, we open ourselves up to God's love and the Holy Spirit. By being filled with God's love and the Holy Spirit, instead of being afraid of things that go on in our lives, we can stay above the water. We can stay with Jesus. And when we spend time in prayer like Jesus did, we can receive those good things inside of us, which then allows us to stay afloat, not only stay afloat, but to maybe reach out and help others. And that is the good news for today. Pray, be filled, and never be afraid of what God's love can do in our lives. Now, let's pray. Now it's time to stand up and profess our faith. Please respond by saying, yes, I do. Do you believe in one God, the Father Almighty? Yes, I do. Do you believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, who teaches us how to live? Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, who guides us to do the right thing? Yes, I do. O oh God, grant that we share a good life with Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now let's offer a prayer to someone in need. Close your eyes tight and think of that person. Say a little prayer for them in your heart. And together, Lord, hear our prayer. All right, time to get moving again with our closing song. This is the light of my